Hey everyone, Cassie Draws here and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw this gorgeous leopard using ink. So grab your paper and let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I have my Molotow black liner pens and my Etcher postcard paper prepped with the sketch of this leopard ready to go. I have chosen a very simple reference for today's drawing as I want the focus of this piece to be on the pose and the spots of this beautiful creature. Now you can choose whichever reference you prefer and you can add as little or as much ink as you want. Everyone's style is different and I can't stress this enough with today's video that Everyone's style is different and everyone uses ink differently. So I encourage you to experiment and really see what works for you and try something new with your drawing today. To begin your ink piece, I always like to start with the eyes of the subject as my main focus and work out from that eye that is visible. Now, if you chose a reference where both eyes are visible, I recommend starting with both of them. So get both of those eye and the surrounding areas inked and branch outwards. Now, the reason I like to do this first is because I want to make sure I set the tone of the piece and create the likeness and realism in the eyes that I'm hoping for. If the eyes don't turn out, it is really difficult for the viewer to relate to your art piece and it doesn't make it as effective in really capturing their attention. So that's why I always like to give them a little bit of extra love and care, getting those eyes done and kind of working out from there. Now you can see here that I finished the base outline of this eye and from there I want to make sure that I dive into a little bit more of those details. So when I am detailing throughout this piece I'm going to be using my 0.05 pen. Now this is the smallest pen that I have available and you can see here even from this view this camera is very much so zoomed in you can see that these lines are very 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 fine and these areas will be the sort of interior of the eye where there's a little bit of like a middle tone or a shadow and maybe the eyelashes of this leopard or even the eyebrows and I start to do some really cool hatching with it later on in the video but it is for the smallest lightest area possible on this leopard. Now I will come in with about two to three other sizes so my 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and I do have a 0 0.8 size pen as well so these black liner pens or the micron pens there's a bunch of different brands most of them all have different varying sizes that that really do help with your process using ink. It kind of takes away a lot of the work for you. So rather than having to color in, you can see here I'm doing some of the spots, rather than having to color, color, color and, and really kind of get nice and tight in there with a small pen and fill it all in, you can use some of these larger nibbed brushes and pens that will cover a much larger area. So just keep that in mind that a lot of those sets come with bigger pens for that purpose. So I'm kind of coming in, I filled in a little bit of the these spots with a larger brush and I'm just kind of blocking in some of these main details. So I've kind of outlined the top of the leopard's head. I've now blocked in some of the nose as well, just to give myself a better idea of where the anatomy of this leopard is and where I need to start adding in some more details as I begin to flesh out this drawing. So a question that I get asked a lot on my YouTube videos or my social media posts when I do ink work is how do I get and achieve the texture within my drawings? And the best way I can describe this is hatching. I am a huge fan of hatching. I think it works very well to fill in a lot of information. Um, my style, I like to have a lot of texture and movement in my drawings. And when you're drawing animals, whether they are birds or mammals, it does not matter. There's a lot going on feathers, fur, etc. So I thought hatching was a great way to fill in a lot of this blank space. So kind of in and around the bridge of the nose, I'm just doing nice straight lines, quick little hatch marks. And again, keep in mind, if you have not done hatching before, the closer those hatch marks together, the darker they will appear. The further those lines get spaced from one another, the lighter they will be. And I can definitely cover this in another video of how I go about actually doing my hatching, cross hatching, etc. But for the sake of time for today's video, just know that I'm doing nice straight lines and kind of just following the movement of this leopard's fur and the pattern. So some of them will be going different ways and then kind of join together. 
Now you can see here that I'm using this fine brush to kind of illustrate the light white hairs of the leopard's chin and I've done some darker spots where those whiskers will be as well and I'm really just using the size of these brushes and pens. I keep saying brushes. I'm so used to doing acrylic voiceovers that drawing in ink is so strange to me now but I'm using different size pens to my advantage. So the larger the area the more coverage I want. I'm breaking out those larger nibbed brushes and pens. Oh my god, it's gonna kill me guys. It's gonna kill me. I'm breaking out those larger pens and for the finer areas I'm just defaulting back to that 0.3 or 0.05. So just keep that in mind. Now I'm filling in a lot of these spots. So because these are the darkest area on this leopard, I wanted to get those in first. So I'm just going in, blocking in all of those spots to really get that anatomy down. And so I know where I'm at. And then I'm going in, as you can see, this is a perfect example of this hatching technique with my small brush pen. <sighs> with my small pen. Um, I'm just going in and blocking in some of that face texture. So where that cheek is, um, where there's maybe some skin folds, I'm just illustrating those quite nicely with the 0.05. And then of course, those really light wispy hairs around the ear, which now you can see them kind of against that leopard's face. Um, those are very, really quite thin and perfect for that size pen. So something that I like to do with my drawings as well, especially when you're working with ink and animals, is I like to take a big block of this color. So for example, the back of the leopard's ear and the interior, you can see that I've filled that in quite a lot with straight black ink. And then what I'll do on top of that is I will kind of feather it out and make it look a little bit more seamless and a little bit more realistic. So for example, I may have started with a 0.8 size pen, and then I will slowly start to thin this pen out. So I'll go to a 0.5, then a 0.3, and then finally to my 0.05 and create really nice sort of feather details. So you can see that I've kind of used some cross hatching, hatching just to really blend this area together so it doesn't look so blocky. It's not so start stop of black and white. There's a little bit of gray in between, just kind of joining these two areas together. The last part in this drawing was to get the sort of side and back area of this leopard completed. And I kind of just at this point said, heck it, and let's just go ahead and fill in all these spots right away. So I'm taking my pen, I'm just going ahead and starting with a simple outline, just to make sure that I get the area and the sort of size and location correct. And then from there, I'm going in and filling them in with solid black ink. And at this point, you can really start to see the drawing come together. And it was just a lot of fun to kind of see it at this stage and really get that beautiful pattern to shine through. So essentially go through your entire reference at this point. Once you're done the face and you're happy with it, go ahead and get those body spots down, however much of them you can see in your reference, and then go ahead and start to really finalize the body and the texture underneath. So remember, once you're done those spots, you're going to want to feather them out a little bit. In your reference, you will see that you have the spots kind of faded out. Um, some of them might be a little bit broken apart. They might be a little bit messy, dirty. So I've kind of feathered in with a smaller pen, um, some little sort of hatch marks coming out off the spots to make them look a little bit more seamless. And then I'm going to go ahead with that really tiny pen underneath and just block in some of the shadows that I see. So this leopard had a little bit of some skin folds. You can see right here that the sort of neck is turned. So some of that fur is folded. I wanted to make sure that I got that to shine through as well. So it doesn't just look like one block of black and white. There's a lot of variation underneath. Now they had a stripe down their back, so I'm using a hatching technique, really close together lines to create sort of the shadow down the sort of center of their back. It was this beautiful sort of rich orangey brown color. So I had to kind of convert that in my mind and I decided to use some hatching to just illustrate that a little bit further. Last will be your finalized details. So I added in some whiskers and once it is all dry, we can go ahead and erase the pencil underneath. Please Please make sure this is dry before you go ahead and erase. Otherwise, you might be entering Smudge City Population 1. Your drawing will be pretty well ruined. So just make sure that your pencil is dry. 
A last minute addition to this drawing was the addition of the gold outline. This is a Sakura Roller Jelly Roll pen. I probably got that name wrong, but it is a gold metallic roller and it really, really added a nice element to this piece. The cameras never do it justice, but as you turn this drawing side to side, you can really start to see the sparkle and the glitter. So something extra that I just wanted to add for my client. And I think it really did make this leopard pop right off the page. All right, and there you have it. There is the finished leopard drawing in ink. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. A big shout out to our channel sponsors, Chartpack, Grumbacker, and Molotov for sponsoring today's video, as well as sponsoring my content here on YouTube and on Twitch. Their links can be found in the description box below, as well as places to purchase their products for your own art toolkit. A big shout out also to our Kofi VIPs of the month. Thank you so much for your continued support. I appreciate it and thank you for being a part of our Kofi family. To get your own feature, you can go to Kofi.com slash Cassie Draws and check out our membership tiers. And lastly, a big thank you to you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I upload next, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.